Those are enormous. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I wore Jinko jeans for an entire week, and this is what happened. Jinko jeans came out mid to late 90s. They fit you normally at the very top, and then they get incredibly baggy at the bottom. I always thought Jinko jeans were really interesting and something drew me to them, and I could never wear them because I went to a Catholic middle school where I had to wear a uniform. It was a weird feeling at first. Literally couldn't believe how large they were. It felt like you were wearing a denim comforter. <laughs> what did I do? I got used to the swishing noise and the very slight breeze that would go up my legs. The pockets were interesting. Meat pockets. They were great. I mean, they were relatively functional. You could fit anything in there. You could probably fit a small child. I just put my entire laptop in the back pocket of my pants. Tuesday was just bad. The pants drag. When they get wet, like, it, it's you're wearing a puddle. Well, my pants finally got stuck on something. My pants got caught on sore grates. Tripped on this. I avoided escalators at all costs. They terrify me to begin with. Wearing Jinkos on top of that, there's no chance. The initial rush of wearing the pants has worn out, and people were really blatantly staring at me. When I woke up on Wednesday, I just decided I was gonna go for it. If people are gonna look at me on the streets, I might as well give them something to look at. So I put on a bucket hat and a Crystal Pepsi t-shirt and I just went all out with my 90s look. It felt pretty liberating. It was great. I really enjoyed it, actually. I just really didn't care what anyone else thought anymore. So I was feeling great after Wednesday, and I wake up Thursday, and I'm talking to my girlfriend before we leave the apartment to go to work, and she tells me that she has a work happy hour, and then immediately remembered that I was wearing Jinko jeans all week, and immediately disinvited me. My girlfriend just texted me that I seriously should not show up to her work happy hour. I realized that the experiment had gotten a little out of control. I was happy to be wearing them for one last day. I love your pants. Thanks so much. Oh my God. I was reflecting on the entire week. My friend got tickets for the Big East tournament. It was this celebration of getting through it all. It felt like they were throwing a party for me, even though there was a basketball game going on. Then I realized coming out of Madison Square Garden, I had to take escalators. I get to the top of the escalator and I just, I jumped and I was okay. It was definitely like a culmination of the whole week. It was this celebration of getting through it all. I would recommend to anybody to wear Jinko jeans for a week. I think it's a great exercise in stripping away your ego and really just trying something different and living in someone else's pants.